in all parts of the world you find always find interesting things we're here in Easter Island we're heading down the road and oh come on the horses are feeding in front of us but they moved of the Moai, did you see some of them with a red top knot on top of the head? This is a Moforos volcanic rock and it was the top knot representing like the hair tied on top of their head. It was a way to maybe give a greater um, uh, importance to the figure of the statue. It seems like the early Moais didn't have them. They were small and more natural to the, according to the human figure. And later on they have the addition of the top knot. And as you can see, according to a person, they get bigger and bigger. That's the biggest one ever raised on a platform, 10 meters, 90 tons of weight, and it's six kilometers from where we are now. And that's the biggest one of all, a 21.6 meter boy that is still attached to the rock. They weren't able to ever move it anywhere. Now you said this, this rock was used as a tool to carve the rocks? Mm -hmm. And what's it made? This is volcanic, just volcanic. Oh, yeah, yeah. A kind of okay. Volcanic it's all volcanic rock. Just, just different, different kinds. Different densities. And Obviously, you have to carve a softer volcanic ash with a harder volcanic rock. And then, sorry, and this one was obsidian. Okay. Volcanic glass. Volcanic glass. Crystallized lava. We saw this. We saw this laying around. We were walking. Actually. Yes. really one of the most magnificent places in the world I've been to and it's always been a dream to come over here to Easter Island. Moais are they're all over the island but this is where they were made on this, on this mountain here or this volcano side. They're just something of something unique around the world. Um, let's suppose that this is the wall, there's nothing there yet, but we're going to start giving it shape. So we start from the outside first, giving shape to the arm, to the shoulder, to the side of the ear. And then we're going to start carving inward, like up the top, making the shape of the stomach and the chin and the nose and the forehead. And then we're going to cut down to give shape to the other ear, the other shoulder, the other arm. And eventually we are going to cut the base of the moai, separate it from the mother rock, separate the head from the mother rock, and we have the moai uh, still attached by the back, but it's too big. So what we would, have, we would do is from the outside to the inside and from the inside to the outside, underneath, start cutting at the rock. Cutting, cutting, cutting until we make the rock very narrow, like a keel on the boat. And when it's narrow enough, you can perforate it. And you can make maybe four or five holes, depending on the size. One of the theories is that if you cross tree trunks inside the hole and you wet the wood, the wood will expand. And when it expands, it will break the pillars left in between. The other theory is that maybe beach boulders, round beach boulders put inside the holes, cutting the pillars and then using tree trunks like levers to get it out. Now if the moai is in that position, turn it around with the base looking down, use ropes to control the fall, maybe uh, using uh, debris from the cutting to slow down the process of bringing it down. But the idea is that they slide the moai down the hill. They've dug a hole previously and they let the moai sit inside the hole. So okay. for the first time, no. they have access to the whole thing, mm -hmm. from the very bottom to the very high, highest part. In this second stage, they use the obsidian tools, which are like glass, because it's sharp, so you can do very fine details with it. And when it's finished, then it's ready to be moved out. But what happens at the late 1600s, that the moais are abandoned in different stages of carving. And the ones that were sitting inside the hole, uh, since the that late 1600s, 2017, a long time has passed and the rain and the mud and the wind slowly starts covering them up. It's something that happened gradually and naturally. But today what we are looking at is this. Okay, so it's not, it's not, it's partial. two thirds of the moai underneath. I see, okay. So in this case, what we are looking at maybe like a six meter mm -hmm. size, there's 12 meters under the ground. So not only the size, but the over stylized features is showing us that it's a moai from a later period, not from the early period. Early period, more natural, small, round. Later period, more defined, more outlined. Maybe it was the, the carving uh, um, they, they, style they that got gave better. More, more prestige. They got more artistic, maybe. More artistic as well. Because so maybe this, the families got more demanding. So this, they got better at carving. So this moai right here has a better, is better carved. You can see the nose, almost the nose outline. Mm -hmm. It's probably a later one than the one, than another one, which is 
No, it's not probable. It is. It is. The okay. The size and the features is showing us that it's a later okay. period Moai. No. Sometimes not the size, but the stylized features is showing us that it's from a later period, like the Moais that you saw at the beach that were very beautiful and very well detailed. Did you see them? I, I saw them from a distance. Uh huh. Okay. Well, they're very beautiful. Okay. The, 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 and those are cool. those are originals. Yeah. Okay. Those were. Now you said the head is separated, or or, or no, they together? No, the top not. There was okay. a piece sitting on top of the head okay. on some of them. And that it's made from a different material. It's a red area. Like, like, a, like a top knot. Okay. Like to the Rapa Nui people, it's called a pukau. And this is a pukau. Like a crown? What's it, what's it called? Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Like a headdress. Okay. Alive when they received the eyes. And the oral tradition says that they were transported raised and only then did they get to receive the sockets so they were carved the sockets when they were standing and then introduced the eyes oh, so none of these are alive yet because they don't have any sockets no eyes okay no Just flat faces that was done at the end when they were standing on the platform Behind me are a group, a group of Moai here, which are, which are to me the, the top two sites on the island would be this right here, and the Moai is being created on the on the side of the crater where this is ninety percent of the Moai are being created. So this is just a magnificent, magnificent location, and why I wanted to come to Easter Island was to see these sites right here. They're 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 beautiful. Thank you.